Hey, what's up guys? It's your second favorite PE teacher, Denver. Season three has tons of new amazing content for us. So why are so many pros like Tifu, some of the community, this mad already? But yeah, Tifu actually rage quit Fortnite like right after the new update came out because he just couldn't handle playing anymore. Seems like Epic, they try to do their best, but no matter what, nobody is happy. What do you guys think? Is season three good? I legit, I thought it was. So let me know what you think too. Also wait till you see what Tim the Tabman said as well. And of course what Nick Merckx, Tifu, even Lachlan said about season three and what is wrong. Even tons of other content creators and pros and maybe even you guys watching this video feel the same exact way. And remember, don't let people tell you what to think, but also if something is wrong, then hopefully Epic can listen to us and can fix this so we don't lose more players and pros again but let's get into this hit like and check to see that you're subscribed youtube likes to unsubscribe you guys and like i said i chose two battle pass winners from the last video all you had to do is type i use code that denver iyt so screw it let's do it again i'm only giving one this time though since it is my own money but you know you know what let's just do two again like and subscribe if you guys want a season three battle pass gifted leave a comment just any comment i'll tell you guys the winner in the next video but let's get started i have something big to tell you guys right after this now nick Merckx, first up because when i got on twitch just a few hours after the season three update i'm like okay this will definitely bring the big streamers back to fortnite we just all want new content and we finally got it and first thing i see is tifu already quitting fortnite to play warzone and nick Merckx, get this didn't even play the new season i was like wow okay this is for real nick Merckx fans in chat asked him why he wasn't going to play the new season and he told him and tell me if some of you guys feel the same way and then we'll get to what made tifu quit after a few hours and what tim the tap man and lachlan said too check it out i'm not saying i'm not going to try it i know we got a lot of fortnite people in here and believe me like i miss it like you miss it like those days were incredible and I want to go back and give it a shot. I really do. So we we probably and might will and might will do that. We gotta, I don't know. I, I, I saw a lot of videos today. I saw a lot. Of just today. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't want to get out on negative. But I just feel like, man. I feel like it, it might never be the same again. You know. I don't know. Hopefully it will. Crank it. So wow, I thought for sure Nick Merckx would come back. But do you guys feel the way Nick feels too? Or you're just like waiting now for Fortnite to feel that fun feeling that we used to get? I'm not going to lie. I played yesterday. I had a blast, right? I thought it was so fun. So why are people not playing and even leaving the game? What is that feeling? And can Epic ever bring it back? Lachlan and Tim the Tapman then brought up something huge. It's hard to explain. So I'm going to let them tell you their thoughts. See if this sounds right. Lachlan saying... I hate to say it, but I think there is too much mobility this season. Consistently lower numbers alive from mid to late game compared to other seasons. And he's right. Like the numbers are a lot lower. Is he right about the mobility though? Too much mobility? I thought we would never hear that. Then he says this, whether or not the problem is mobility, I think we can all agree pacing this season is off. 10 to 15 people remaining every game after the first circle closes. It's never been that bad. So overall, I think he's just saying the game feels way too fast everybody lands on a few spots and dies and then you have like no action for the whole game until the very end and by the way congrats to lachlan on his new team power that's insane but lachlan is taking some hate for this people replying ah yes pros complaining yet again after getting their way and this one no way now you complain about too much unbelievable so like is lachlan right here or should he just never say anything at all like to me this isn't complaining this is just saying how you feel to hope that the game gets a little better if you think it needs to be fixed and lachlan isn't alone tim the tap man listen to him here say almost the same exact thing and why he doesn't want to play right now either and then of course a lot more plus tfu coming up in a second check it out i think a lot of people agree with that it, just the way that it, just, it plays right now it and feels slower. as a content creator as well right i'm not a pro player so i you know obviously as a content creator just like the pacing in Warzone is very entertaining to watch. And this pacing is not that entertaining. In the water like here. A dude. little more people, but it's still so fast, bro. The first zone yep. is just touching land, right? And there's 37. So wait, quick math. 34 people left, right? Yep. Yeah, I would say there's probably like arenas there's 10 more people than I, clubs. I don't want to bash too much, but like that is just not good. I want 200 people. I want to be able to buy people back with materials. I want it to be instant, and I want a gulag mechanic. That would make Fortnite pretty There's, there's pretty my crazy. list. That's what I want. That would make this game fly for me and just like constant. You know what I mean? And 
health on kill. And health on kill. <laughs> yep. That's what I want. So that's a lot of demands from Tim, basically bringing all the Warzone stuff into Fortnite, which, let's be honest, Epic brought a ton from Apex Legends into Fortnite. So why not? Let's get a Gulag mechanic. Like, imagine you go into, like, a realistic 1v1 arena and, like, battle to get back into the game, or even, like, a no-building arena. You just both just get, like, the same one weapon, and that's it. That'd be crazy. But before we get to Tifu and what other pros said, you guys heard from the Fortnite guy a while back that Repeat.gg and Team Kangarna, they're hosting a massive tournament. You guys can win some big money. It's a new one in our name. The coolest thing about this, in my opinion, is you can run your games anytime you want to. You get 10 games, get your absolute best scores for each game, and then winners get a bunch of money, $2,000 on the line, and it is filling up fast. I'm not just saying that. It's actually like over half filled now. You have like four days left, guys. The link is in the description. Check this out if you want to compete for some money, but let's get to what happened with Tifu, what Symphony said to him, and all that, and then more right after this. So don't miss it. Take a look. There's another guy right there, bro. I'm dead, Turn our SCD uh, Fortnite season turning pretty well for you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, that, <laughs> okay, that went down pretty quick for what, uh, what happened there. I streamed for five hours, dude, yeah. Fortnite, oh. and then I got off, because it was dog. <laughs> I mean, the map's good, but like, they took the pump shotgun out. Wait, the pump shotgun? Yeah. Yeah, they vaulted the pump shotgun. And then they added like a hunting rifle back, but like it's so all you get from chest is just hunting rifles. And then my drop spot it got flooded. But obviously, you already know that. I didn't know that, but it got flooded. Yeah, like the entire grotto was just a swimming pool. Yeah, so I don't know. If I had to guess, Tifu might just be done with Fortnite soon. He, he said he played five hours. I don't even know if it was that long, but then it was the same old thing. He got a hunting rifle out of a chest. Not a lot of places to land, so people are landing right on top of him, or stream snipers are on him, like he said, and then he lost his favorite drop spot, the grotto. So I get it. It's super frustrating. It sounds like he just needs a break, but it still doesn't take away from what everyone else is saying about the pace of the game, the new shotgun, and then some streamers like Loya saying, if you think the new shotgun is bad you are bad and then pros like moki replying it's good against bad players so it's just crazy to me how one shotgun could make people so upset and then people saying the shotgun is specifically for noobs epic kind of helping out players who aren't as quick so this maybe slows down combat a bit i don't know so they, they can keep up it's jerry and saying they added the charge so little timmy can sit there charging up a 220 in your face which cracked me up but on a more serious note there this is a huge step in the direction for fortnite again and obviously not on the same level as the mechs but how epic wants to help noobs either way phase seabass he put it like this loving a lot of these changes at fortnite games new season has brought but this shoot on release mechanic of the new charge shotgun is not it it isn't fluid or intuitive easily fixed by charging with ADS instead needs to immediately shoot like all weapons when pressing fire. So yes or no, is he right on that? Like it's such a weird weapon to have to charge up and pros like FaZe Sway are not a big fan of it at all. Putting this on Twitter and yes, this took me like an entire minute to censor it for you guys. But wow, people do not like this shotgun. But for real, this is going to be one of those things we're gonna probably hear about all season long. Just get ready for it. Every single time that pros die to it, we're gonna have to hear about it and them complaining. But just wait, I doubt Epic will do a single thing to it. We're just gonna have to deal with it, which of course means we might lose more people just because of it. But based on past experiences, Epic won't listen. And when I say that, I mean that Epic doesn't want to listen. They chose this gun. 
They want this gun in the game. I'm sure they tested it a ton and now it's in. It's a part of the game. We need to either learn to get good with it or to play around it. And I'm calling it now though. Listen to this. Pros are going to get good with it. There's going to be some kind of mechanic with it that we don't quite know yet that will make everybody want to use it until we realize it's broken strong and then Epic might even nerf it. I could be wrong. I'm just saying I bet it will happen like that. Like Mongrel or Benji Fishy's hands, the shotgun is going to be strong and endures or trios just wait till you see how strong it is but that's fine i don't know call me crazy guys either way check out the repeat.gg tournament in the description below get in fast because it is filling up like i said give your 10 best games see if you can win you know the big prize shout out though to repeat.gg and kangarna for hosting this for our community and letting us hop in with them but the battle pass winners for the last video and please please do not dm me on twitter trying to fake being the winner i'm gonna find out like i always do and every single time I do this, some kid tries to lie and say they're the winner. I even had one that literally stole and uploaded every single video from the winner's channel once, even took their logo and their banner and everything. But guess what? Each video had zero or one view. Yeah, he was that dumb. He thought I wouldn't see that. So I have the winner's channels saved here. Just DM me on Twitter. DMs are open because that's the only messaging I use. Not really Instagram or anything, but anyway, winners are K9Dex, and malice by the way. I have your channel saved. You two just DM me on Twitter with proof of you logged into your YouTube account and then send a friend request over on Fortnite. That Denver guy YT just sent a friend request. Use that code too. I'll accept your friend request. You have to wait two days to be gifted. Okay, that's it guys. Longest outro ever. I love you guys. Remember to use kind words. Love people no matter what. Build people up. All right, this world is hard enough. We need good people to stand up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Love, Denver.